Hey y'all, it's Miss Ladybug, Debbie, here with Lily, and the place that I hang out, it's not the lily pad, but it's where I'm at for now, for now. My stay here is coming to an end. All the details are yet to be determined, but it is coming to an end. I knew it was going to come to an end a while ago because it hasn't been the way that it was originally put forth to me and uh, became uncomfortable probably after by my birthday. <laughs> so, um, you know, I was trying to make do the way that I do. But yeah, it's time to move on. And I had a bit of a meltdown the last two days because, folks, I got complex PTSD. I have the equivalent of a traumatic brain injury from coming off benzos. And I have been in a constant state of upheaval for almost 10 years. When you have PTSD at all, and let alone complex PTSD, your amygdala is constantly on fire. Your dinosaur brain that operates at a level that's for survival with people that have complex PTSD, it's always on. Excuse me, I've been itching because I got bit by a bunch of mosquitoes when I went up river last week or this weekend. Anyway, um, yeah, I mean, when you have PTSD and complex PTSD, I'm working on this. I mean, I'm in treatment for this. I do EMDR. I meditate. I practice mindfulness. But even still... <laughs> Even with all of that energy being put forth to try to have my brain not be reactive, it still is. I don't like it. Other people probably don't like it. But it's just how it is. You get a bit of bad news, you know. Uh, you're overdrawn at your, the bank. Oh, God. I've done that for a while, but I hate it when that happens. Um, and it happens because people make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. It's not a sin. You aren't unforgivable. You know, don't put any pressure on yourself because that has happened. Because um, it's happened to lots of people. Uh, but, you know, when or when when you get news that you have an upheaval of any kind, meaning there's a big change in the family dynamics or a change in where you live or a job change, whether you're deciding it or someone else is deciding it, it's hard. My brain goes to, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm afraid I'm going to die. I'm af And I'm really not afraid of dying. I'm just afraid of all the uncomfortability on the way there. <laughs> if that makes sense. Dying is a welcome ideal, actually. It's a lot easier. Wherever I'm going, I know it's not going to be as wild as this world is. Um... But yeah, when my brain gets triggered, even still, I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't spin, I don't go to spin cycle for as long as I used to. That's a good thing, don't you think? I mean, I don't 
I don't go to the depths of the end and stay there for weeks and months on end. And that used to happen. Before I had treatment for PTSD, that's what would happen. I'd be triggered and it would it would it propel me into weeks and months of depression and anxiety and unable to cope and reactionary. Now, a couple days and then I'm kind of able to go, okay, I'm not going to die over this. Yes, it's uncomfortable. Yes, I have to do things that I really don't have energy for because I'm still really sick. I know y'all think I look great and I'm, you know, trying to do ex extra right now. But the extra I'm trying to do right now is because my RV is trashed and I have to move and I don't know where the fuck I'm going. So, so I'm, I'm working from the amygdala. I got to work. I got to work. I got to work. I got to get some money. But that's not good for my health either. I'm on disability for a reason. Unfortunately, what the side gig I'm doing for however long I can manage, it's pretty low key. It's just physically draining. But it's not mentally and emotionally terribly taxing, which is a relief because that's where I struggle. That's why I have disability because I have a brain injury. <laughs> it's still hard to accept sometimes. And it's hard not to be angry about because it's challenged my intelligence or my, not my intelligence, but my ability to learn, my ability to retain information, uh, my decision making, my reactions. And I, I didn't ask for this just is and I'm doing the best I can um, yeah <sighs> you know all I've wanted for years is just to be able to rest it's what my body needs it's what my brain needs I have been, you know, I'm 59 years old, but when I was like 40, my grandmother, who was 80, 80 something, she's like, you're an old woman. I said, what? I'm like half your age. Why are you saying that to me? And she goes, because you have gone through things that I can't even imagine. If you take apart all the different things that my life has entailed, eh, big deal, you know, childhood neglect, abandonment, um, changing schools 18 times in 12 years. Sexual abuse. Abuse in a marriage. Weird abuse, weird stuff. Um, the loss of two children, a brain injury from pharmaceuticals, being unhoused, not by choice, and struggling to find safety and security for 10 years. Any one of those things is really hard. I mean, really hard, you know, the average Joe gets, you know, 
people who were affected by the fire last year, the, the fires in the Pacific Northwest. People lost their homes. That's extraordinarily stressful. They react different than they did before. I promise you they do. Almost everybody. Well, if, if a person has had multiple types of traumas, multiple upsets, their ability to regulate in the moment when big stressors come is really challenged. It's it's an effort most people have no comprehension of. Just like what I go through on a daily basis just to do what I do. Literally, I wake up about when the sun is coming up first. And my first response to that rudeness, which to me it's a rudeness when I get awakened because I never feel completely rested. And I track my sleeping and it's not surprising because I have lots, even though I'm sleeping more than I did, you know, I mean, it shows that I might sleep six hours, but it's still very interrupted. And, and I feel that when I wake up, I'm just like, oh, I need more. And, and sometimes I'm able to doze back off for an hour. And then I wake up and it's like, what do I have to do today? Well, lately I'm trying to do a little bit of side work to make a little money so that I can get some stability again. So that means, okay, got to dose up with some CBD and maybe a little THC depending on how bad my physical pain is. And then I have to start having these conversations with myself. Oh God, I don't want to do this. I'm so tired. I just want to rest. Why can't I get more rest? Why I'm so tired? Oh, come on. Oh, no, no, no. You got stuff to do. You're going to be okay. You know, yeah, you hurt. It's all right. Lots of people hurt. You can hurt and still function. Come on. You can do it, baby. Come on. I have this conversation. It takes two or three hours of self-cheerleading to overcome all the rationale of my tired brain and body that hurts physically. And... I could list all the things that the diagnosis and the findings on MRIs and the findings on x-rays and the diagnosis and I could tell you all that and maybe it would matter and maybe it wouldn't. The reality is, is I wake up and my body hurts and my mind hurts and my spirit hurts and I have to have these really incredible conversations within my own brain overcoming all the stuff that's telling me why I can't do things or why it's going to hurt or why I should be scared. And then I have big upsets. <laughs> like I have to move again. <laughs> So then it goes into overdrive of, oh, you know, and, and I, and I shared some of this yesterday, but it's, it's bad. It, it's, and it's, I meditate. I spend tons of time doing positive affirmations and positive self-reflection and positive orientation. But when you have PTSD and you have a damaged brain and you get triggered, it takes more than I've got yet. Yet. I'm still working on this. This is going to be a process. 
I've only been working on the PTSD, the complex PTSD for two and a half, three years. It took 58 years, 56 years of it compounding. <laughs> I'm not perfect at this yet. I'm, I'm still pretty new at this. So I wanted people to know that, man, it's not easy being me. And yes, yeah, sometimes I get completely overwhelmed with emotion. Very, very steeped in fear. But some of that fear has come to fruition and been true. I've had some really bad things happen. And I have been faking it till I make it. I've been struggling pretty much since my birthday because things changed where I came to reside and things became quite different than what they were presented to me. And it has caused extreme stress. And I knew I needed to make a change, but now I have pressure on and I don't do well with pressure. I don't. That's why I'm on disability. <laughs> I wish people would take even a moment, a minute to consider the effect of your behavior on someone who has challenges. You go about your day thinking, oh, it's all dandy, but you have interactions with people that are different than you and respond different than you and have a different history than you. And yet you expect them to respond the same way as you do. That's kind of narrow minded. It's kind of narrow thinking. We're so different. We all have such different experiences. And all these years I've been doing my videos, it's just in hoping to impart a little bit of curiosity about something maybe you don't know about, like coming off pharmaceuticals after multiple years of following doctor's advice and finding out that hurt you about trauma and the impact and the long reaching ripple effect, you know, my trauma has affected me, which has affected my children. My parents' trauma affected me. I've been working at breaking the cycle. I think my living children, both of them are working at breaking this cycle, but we don't get there overnight and it's not a perfect solution the journey there. So if I have a meltdown, when I have to have a big change, when I was really hoping I could just kind of relax a little because I am disabled and that's what the goal has been for multiple years. I hope you don't judge that in a negative way and go, oh man, geez off in the deep end. Yeah, I was hurting. I was hurting. I was scared. I still am. I don't know my solution exactly. I've got energies that I'm putting out into the universe and trying to manifest what is going to be the best for solution for me that's going to last. I need, I really need something that's going to be like 
fruitful and comfortable and healthy and healing where I don't have to be uprooted again in four months, five months. Because that's, I've been doing that forever. I mean, I haven't done a count on how many times I've moved. But I will tell you, since 2010, let's do a check here. 2010, moved to Murphy. From Murphy, went to, hmm, where did I go from Murphy? Oh, went to Applegate and rented a little above the garage apartment. Then went to Hoarder's Hell. Then from Hoarder's Hell, went to Crazy Lady on Caves Camp Road. <laughs> and from there, I bought RV and went to another Crazy Lady place. That lasted about four months, five months. Then went to another strange person's place. <laughs> and from there, moved to the hill where I ended up losing everything. So that was eight. So then from there... I went to Sherwood. From there, I went to Couch Hopping into Salem. From there, I went to a tent. From there, I got my RV. I went to a, a very short-term place in a little RV. Then I got the lily pad and went to a property. Then I went back to the original property where I was in a tent. And then I came here 15 times I've moved in 10 years. That's a lot of uprooting for someone who's been sick and trying to heal. So when I get uprooted again, yes, I react. It makes my anxiety go off the charts. It makes my fear level go off the charts. It makes my internal dialogue that I was taught that if I can't figure things out, there's something wrong with me and I'm a bad person. All that just gets ding, 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 triggered, triggered. That's what it's like having a brain injury. That's what it's like having complex PTSD And a long history of trauma. And a long history of being unsettled. So, anyway. I just kind of needed to do another video and talk about what's going on. And why I react. I'm working on it. Peace, y'all. It's 1030. I'm exhausted. I have been pushing, pushing, pushing. And it's, I've had a lot of emotional upheaval and I'm tired. I'm just tired. Anyway, thanks for watching. Till the next whatever. See you later. Peace.